Well, some good news for those of you tired of sitting in traffic on your way to the North Shore. New and up first in your 10 at 10, a passenger train to Duluth is now on track to becoming a reality. This session, more than $100 million was passed for this train. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt joins us with details now on the Northern Lights Express. Rose? Amy Kelsey, a one-way ticket will cost between $30 and $35. At speeds of up to 90 miles an hour, the trip to Duluth will take about two and a half hours. MnDOT says that'll be comparable to driving, if not faster during rush hour and bad weather. It's full steam ahead for a project connecting the Twin Cities to the Twin Ports. We're going to get this thing built and it's going to benefit generations of Minnesotans. The Northern Lights Express just secured $195 million in state dollars. That unlocked federal grants that are expected to pay for the remaining 80 percent. There are some track upgrades and improvements. There are the stations themselves and there are also the train sets. The train will make four round trips a day on existing BNSF tracks, running from Target Field to Coon Rapids, Cambridge, Hinkley, Superior and Duluth. We're talking about two of the biggest economic hubs in the state and two parts of the state that people love. Supporters believe it will not only help increase tourism on the North Shore, but also help bring people back to downtown Minneapolis. Whether it's students or families or folks in the business community traveling to the Twin Cities, whether that be for work or for sports games or just fun downtown, um, I think we're going to see a lot of traffic between the two cities. In the final days of the legislative session, Republican lawmakers criticized the train's price tag. But the Minneapolis Regional Chamber points to these statistics to show a return on the investment. Thousands of jobs, increased property values along the line, and $15 million in state and local sales tax revenue the first year. Put all sorts of money into uh, road projects all over the state, recognizing that they serve value in connecting communities and they create economic opportunity. And that's the same case here. The train will be ready to ride in four or five years. MnDOT expects 700,000 riders in the first year. Within two decades, that could increase to a million riders annually. Amy. All right. Thank you, Rose.